N-A-Y-I-M-E-D-W-A-R-D dollar sign nigga N-A-Y-I-M-E-D Welcome to my channel. My name is Naeem Elvis. I am your host and today of course when we get to shaking and baking and doing our own thing stuff starts happening that needs edification so we must show up to edify and all other plans we had get pushed to the side for a few days. Now Offset is blaming Jay Prince family for what happened to take off rightfully so. If you had a chance to look at the Million Dollars Worth of Game episodes, there's three things you should have noticed. The first thing you should have noticed is how poorly edited it was when they asked Jay Prince Jr. about how, um, like what was going on when he stepped over. We, hey, Wallow said, hey, we saw you step over. What was going on? There's a part, I forgot what he said in the beginning, but he was talking and he was getting to it, but his head is like in this position. And then all of a sudden the frame switched to his head being a little slightly bit up and over. So that lets me know that whatever was being said and whatever was said, either they edited it out on their own or they told them, and I said, they is the Bob Ties group, told them to edit it out. My thing is if you go on a platform to clear your name, if you go on a platform to make it clear and to clarify why would you want anything you said to be edited out? Why would you want to edit out anything? I don't want to hear talk from nobody who feels like, oh, it's no problem. They're professionals. They should be able to edit. No. If somebody is accusing you and your family and your people of doing something they didn't do, you should be able to shoot straight and say, nigga, that ain't got shit to do with us. We don't have nothing to do with that. We are denouncing that. The problem is they went on a platform that was going to be soft on them and not ask them no real questions. And not ask them. And it might have been real questions, but it wasn't asked in a way where it's like, hey, my nigga, we saw you step over him and say, leave that nigga there. And you're going to say, oh, we didn't hear you say that? A nigga couldn't read your lips in the video and see that you said that? And you're talking about, oh, Mike was right behind me. We was going to the bathroom to wash blood off our hands. That has nothing to do with what? Like, that doesn't even make sense. The follow-up question to that should have been, why were you going to wash blood off your hands? Help this man. But don't nobody, you not going to do that because we got to understand million dollars worth of game is a, the two people that's up there, Gilly and Wallow, they are catching up from a deficit. They should be way bigger than what they are right now. They're catching up from a deficit. And what I'm saying is Wallow spent a lot of years in prison, so he's already behind from where he, when he should have been starting his career, he's trying, he's catching up. They're catching up. They're doing a great job. They're catching up to it. Gilly came from the music industry. He's partially responsible for it. a whole lot that has to do with Wayne. He didn't get his just due in the music industry. They found a lane. They found what they're good at. Their platform is, is about empowering and all of that stuff, but they're going to have a bias like all people would have when they know somebody, they wouldn't go to nobody else's platform because somebody else's platform and they, the mob ties, somebody else's platform will ask them the real questions. The second thing you should have noticed is the boohoo crying and the fake ass acting and niggas trying to act like that they're victims of some type of violence or they're victims of something that happened. You showing up to somebody's shit talking about, well, this wouldn't have happened because a whole, like you got to pay attention to when niggas say, but Motherfuckers are talking about, well, this wouldn't happen if we wouldn't have got attacked first. It's just like you shot and killed an innocent person. Not them per se, but your group shot and killed somebody who didn't have nothing to do with it. And you saying, well, that's just the cost of doing business when you allow people around you who can't control themselves. I talked to P. I talked to the mother. I talked to whatever, bro. I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't really believe that. I just don't really find that whatever because niggas got time to go to the Grammys. Niggas got time to make tribute songs. Niggas got time to do all this kind of stuff, but niggas ain't got time for nobody other than y'all coming out and saying, Hey, they didn't have nothing to do with that. Our person started a situation. They people handled it. There's nothing wrong with coming out and saying that, but you getting up there and you crying to make it seem like you're the victim of something. You're not a victim of anything. If you are a victim of something, it's your own personal actions. Now, this is the third thing we should have noticed. And I got my phone because I want to take this piece by piece and listen to the way that they are disrespecting. Well, he, J Prince is disrespecting Offset and silence, silence is compliance because 
they're trying to get the heat off of them and they know that somehow some way if offset come out and blame them in public because again offset has not come out and said anything to anybody in public at all let's let's just go through it and listen over to that uh coming back together soon but um it's offset dude i ain't gonna leave him out you know i'm just real like this you know because you know you know niggas be throwing rocks and hiding their hand right that offset dude number one disrespectful thing because you know that they are relatives it's not hey that offset dude that's somebody just random from the group and you know it's funny they waited to the last two minutes to put this in there or leave this in there so you you want to cut out the part everybody want to know about but a nigga making an idle threat talking about i ain't gonna leave him out that offset dude why didn't you say his cousin his family because there's no way you talk to the family but then you come up and you start attacking one of the relatives for blaming you let's keep going they be throwing rocks and hiding their hand and um i don't like them kind of individuals you don't like offset for coming out and he didn't even come out in public so behind the scenes, Offset is probably saying, fuck them niggas. I'm not sitting down with them. I don't want nothing to do with them. They're the reason my relative is dead. And I'm not going to jump the gun because what he about to say after this is so crazy. Let's, let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, and, and the truth of the matter is, you know, one can, can dance and different things in front of your different cameras and, and all that kind of shit. And in and, and, and when reality, the truth of the matter is, you know, nigga, you wasn't really right there with takeoff when he was alive. You know what I mean? So for you to be taking these positions that you taking, you know what I mean? And I, I got people everywhere, so I hear all kinds of things. You wasn't really there with him when he was alive. So your personal defense against a nigga saying your response, your camp is responsible for the death of my relative, the death of my label mate, my band mate, and my cousin, my actual blood cousin. These niggas is not niggas in a group that was made up by the label. These niggas was a group that was made by the label, but they're actual real life, real blood relatives that really grew up with each other. You are going to say, you want to bring family and their business into the practice where their business and their family business don't really like we're really being serious that's not your business to speak about that has nothing to do with why a nigga feel like you had something to do with that why would you why are you bringing that into it niggas is throwing anything out here to try to get the heat off of them niggas is throwing anything out here and saying anything to try to discredit the fact that somebody actually loved their relative and it's putting the blame where the blame should be. If, if my thing is, why didn't the person shoot and shoot the right person? If this was so self-defensed out and this was so we're protecting ourselves out, then why didn't you hit the person who was supposed to get hit? How did an innocent person end up dying and all these other people end up getting shot? Let's let's just go. Uh, I'm going to just say this to you. Don't never put me in no position where, you know, I have to defend myself. You know what I mean? That wouldn't be healthy for you. And, you know, I, I have to say that. I hate, but it's a million dollars worth of game. So basically, that's what he's that's what he's saying. Don't don't put me in a position where I have to defend myself. You came out and told us this. We didn't know he was feeling like this. Everybody feels like this, but he never got he never got on no platforms and blamed nobody. He never came out and said nothing. He hasn't done no music. He hasn't been on none of his shows and said none of this. He hasn't came out and said nothing. You're telling us behind the scenes, Offset is blaming you, and now you have to defend yourself. The problem is you don't have to defend yourself against Offset. You have to defend yourself against the FBI and the police department and everybody who's been wanting to take you down for 30 years. It's sad that motherfuckers want to hold on to, mega, mega millionaires want to hold on to a persona, but you wouldn't do that to the white man. You wouldn't, you wouldn't pull this tough ass shit with Yellow Wolf. 
you wouldn't pull this tough ass shit with Post Malone. And he from down there where y'all from, even though he's like from Dallas, but like Post Malone's from Texas and y'all don't do that tough ass shit with him. You wouldn't dare go over there and do that with him because you're, you, you're in a position now where one, cause I already told you to shut the fuck up, but nobody, nobody want to listen to, to what's happening over this side, but you're in a position now where you feel defenseless and you feel helpless. So anybody that's saying anything they have to do with you, you want to come out and snap and yell at them when you just can't accept the fact that we fucked up. It would it would have been so much easier for, to just say, you know what, our group fucked up. You blaming somebody who went to the police and told, so a nigga went to the police and lied? Is that what you're saying? Because you can't, by admittance, you can't be a rat and a liar. A rat is a person who goes and they're telling the police what happened. They're telling the police the truth to get the investigation. They saying that your son is the reason for all of this. So is he a liar or is he a rat? Let me know. I'm just, it's just I'm kind of really disgusted because these niggas don't do this to white men. This does my whole point about this. Y'all do not do this to white rappers. Y'all don't do this to white people. Y'all don't do this to white men. When 6 9 came down there, this was what your son did. Hey, Takashi, where you at? Where, where you at? Yeah, nigga, we outside. Mom thighs, mom thighs, mom thighs, mom thighs. That's what we should call these niggas. But like, he was holding the cell phone up in the air with a hundred niggas behind him walking down the street looking for a faggot and rainbow hair. You're not serious, nigga. But you want to, that ain't going to be good for your health. Did we even get to that part? Did he say that? Hold on. You know what I mean? It's a million dollars worth of game, and I'm going to give it to him right on a million Hold dollars on. worth of game because I ain't going to throw rocks and hide my hand. I'm going to just let it be known, you know, to him because I hear what's being said. And uh, it's all love after that. Peace. Okay, I thought, okay, I thought we had said that. Just... That shit is lame as a bitch. A soft threat to another person who your side of town is responsible for the murder of his relative. Yeah, let me go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Niggas is so fucking stupid. Like, it's so stupid. So much shit can be avoided if you just took responsibility for what you played. But you so... Niggas, niggas, your pride is going to be the downfall of a lot of these niggas, man. I'm telling you. But yeah, we about to upload this Nicki Minaj episode too. So thank y'all for watching. I just, I'm really disgusted by all of this. Anyway, my name is Nyan Y-I-M-E-D-W-A-R-D dollar sign, nigga. N-A-Y-I-M-E-D.